Tim's American Beauty was made by Robust Tools, America's premier lathe manufacturer. Quality hardened tool rests and live centers too. Robust. Built to turn wood. Enjoyed for a lifetime. Thompson Lay Tools. Welcome to a new level of professional wood turning tools. Made by a wood turner for wood turners. to mount a worm screw into my chuck and this is how we're going to hold the bow tie on here get that to fit in there really nice now the problem I have is that screw is so long it goes almost all the way through this so I'm going to put in a spacer board that I made up so it's a little thin board I'm just going to screw it onto here like so so that basically makes the screw shorter so when I put this on now it's only going to go about halfway in, and it won't be a problem. So I'm going to suck it up there to where it's really tight. There we go. That looks good. So now what I want to do is start shaping the bow to make it look a little more bow-like. Okay, so that's tight. I'm going to pick out my tools, and we'll start turning. Okay, we're set up. What I want to do is start turning the front side, like I said. But take a look at this. Um, this one right here, when it was turning, I cut the edge. So it gave it more of a curve. This one, I left it the way it was from on the turning when it was like that. I like this shape a lot better because it looks more bow tie like. This just looks a little too curved. So I'm not gonna mess with this end when I'm turning right now. I'm just gonna simply work on taking out some of the weight of this. You can see how it's skinnier. And I'm gonna make the hole for the button. Put these over here. So we'll go back to my spindle gouge again, turn this on, and we're just going to start whittling away the wood. Again, you're cutting air, so you want some speed built up there. So we're going to come in here, and I can actually see through to where my curve is. That's kind of cool. So we'll just keep going down like this. Really light cuts. Since this is supposed to be curly maple, we'll see how much of the curl comes out. <laughs> it's going to be a little picky. It's going to tear out on you a little bit. So you have to be really gentle with it. Because sanding this thing is one of the downsides to it. It's a bit of a pain. Turn away our marks there. Roll the tool. Come here. There we go. Now what I want to do before I go any further is stop it and see where I am on that ball part. Because oh, it looks like we're curving in good. <laughs> it looks like it's a little furry too. So I just need to keep curving this in a little bit to where this matches up with that. But it looks like I'm really centered well, so that's exactly what I was after. So I'll get rid of the fuzz here. I'm not talking because I'm concentrating. There we go. Come back in and clean up this edge. Come back a little more. Just trying to make a nice clean meet there where the two surfaces, the two edges touch. So again, let's check it and look at it. Okay, I can come a little bit more. You can see there's a like an edge there, lip. So if I keep cutting down, hopefully I'll match that up perfectly with the wings. So let's try it again. Probably take about an eighth of an inch off, it looks like. So of course that means I'm gonna take off a sixteenth of an inch so I don't screw it up. 
Well, of course, the sixteenth of an inch on each side winds up being an eighth of an inch. Higher math there. Try it again. Okay, ooh, look how close we are. So you can see we're getting, we got a great intersection there. We're just a little bit off here. I can hand sand that. So I'm just gonna clean that surface up a bit. And then we're gonna start working on the hole there. So we just wanna move a little bit of wood out of here. Remember you have a worm screw down there. So you only wanna go in about 3 sixteenths of an inch. If you do go too deep, you'll know it. <laughs> Trust me, how I know that one. Yeah. So, just taking a little bit out. I'm going to come back with my skew here in just a second now and clean this up some because it'll do a much nicer job of making the edge that I'm after. You just want to make sure that you make this bottom either dip down a little bit or perfectly flat. If it has a rise in it, your your insert won't sit real well. So this up like so so right on center come in here like so move this back just a tick okay so we're gonna bring this in flat and just push in and take a little bit of wood at a time and just scrapes it out nice and clean makes a beautiful sharp edge There we go. I do want to make sure that the sides are perfectly straight though because my plug is going to be the button thing. He's going to have straight sides too. Okay, there we go. See what that looks like. Okay, looks good. Now, while this is sitting here, I'm just going to go ahead and take my power sandal with a uh, Velcro sanding pad on here and clean things up and they'll be ready to work on the button. Okay, now I'm gonna use a one inch belt sander to clean up these sides right here. Okay, I spent a few minutes now with my Purple Heart blank and I've rounded it out to where this slips on nicely so I have the right diameter. But the thing I need to do is I want to make a mark, just a light one right here. So that gives me a visual as to how deep the hole is in the bow tie. So I'm gonna to wanna to make my cutoff point about right there. Bring this up and just set my pencil there and turn the lathe on. Okay. We're good. So now I know how deep I want to go if I part this off. So all we're going to do now is make the curve of the button. And this actual extra line I have here is going to help me out because it's going to show me where I start my curve. So I'm going to take my big old spindle gouge here and just gently make a flat bead. Just using my body to swing around. Got a good grip on the tool so it doesn't catch. There we go. I'm letting the bevel rub too, so it's kind of burnishing the wood at the same time. There we go. That looks really pretty good. I'm gonna do this <laughs> famous last words a little more on the edge here. There we go. Okay, now I'm gonna stop this. Bring the tool rest over here a little bit. I'm gonna part in where I have that line. And so, let's see here. I'm gonna take my little bitty skinny parting tool. It's real thin, so it helps me make nice thin parts. It's way too tall. Bring it down here. Okay, that is our exact cut line right there. I wanna come back, make a relief cut so the tool doesn't catch. Going straight in, keep going, keep going. I'm not gonna part it all the way off because I wanna hand sand that a little bit and once I'm done with that, then we're ready to assemble. Well, 
Well, the first thing I want to do now to assemble is to use some thick CA glue and some accelerator. So we're just going to liberally put this on here. See if I can do this left-handed. I want a good thick coating right there. I don't want to be near these edges because it'll squirt up and out. If it goes out that hole, I don't care. So now we have to take this thing here, get my accelerator. I want to do this over here so I don't spray that. <laughs> So, okay, I'm getting that good and soaked, right? So now we take it, and I'm gonna make sure I have the grain oriented up. I like that straight up and down. So put that on, push that on real good. So, see what I mean? I put the grain going up and down. It's kind of neat. You can mess with that however you want, use whatever you want. So we're gonna let that sit up for a second. Let me uh, put a little weight on it. That work. <laughs> so how did I make the bow tie a bow tie? Well. I looked online and you can actually buy little bitty things that are meant for bow ties. So that's the hook and the loop, right? Well, I'm a wood turner, I'm not a seamstress, and I'm not a bow maker, bow tie maker. So I'm sure many of you will find a better way of doing this. But then I also found this great elastic on here. So I bought that on Amazon. I'll put the links in the comments for you guys. And so then here's the cool part. What I did is I found these, <laughs> this is where I went Neanderthal on it. These are self-tapping screws for sheet metal and stuff. <laughs> so I, without the elastic there, I, I took a screw and drilled in like so, right? And I drilled in like so, then I backed them out, used the awl to punch a hole in the elastic, and then I put the screw in the elastic and screwed it on. And then when it came to this part, like I said, I'm not a seamstress, so I went ahead and used a staple <laughs> to hold that on there. I'm uh, sure you can come up with better thing, ideas than that. But anyway, that is how you make a bow tie, but let me show you what the really cool shot. I think the glue is probably dried now, or dry enough. Let's put a finish on it. Now, I'm just using a Watco Danish oil. You can use polyurethane, anything you want, because uh, you can make that really shiny and buff it up, really make it stand out. Now, I just like the natural look of Watco Danish oil, because what other look would you want on a bow tie than natural oil? Right. So this is the interesting thing. This is going to soak up the oil like crazy because we have, this is side grain, right? This is in grain. This is where it's really going to soak it up. So we'll just stay on the front here. Oh, by the way, I didn't mention, see how it curves to the back? And you also see I have sharp edges on my other ones. I rounded the edges over, and I actually think the sharp looks a little bit nicer. It stands out. So you can do that either way. You can round off the edges and leave them flat on the back, or leave them sharp and curve the back. It's all up to you. So let's get this goop on here. Oh man, <laughs> it's really good. I still don't see much quilting in this thing, so I guess it's the quilted maple that never was. But anyway, there you get an idea. That is how you make a bow tie out of wood. So until the next time on Wood Turning, mm, y'all, keep turning. Tim's American Beauty was made by Robust Tools, America's premier lathe manufacturer. Quality hardened tool rests and live centers too. Robust. Built to turn wood. Enjoyed for a lifetime. Thompson Lathe Tools. Welcome to a new level of professional wood turning tools. Made by a wood turner for wood turners.